Good afternoon to all my viewers on my Facebook Live. And you too can watch me live on Facebook at facebook.com slash the fluffy diva to see my Miss Kitty FC studio. It's all flags. It's all World Cup. We have jerseys. We have balls. We have shorts. We have boots. And of course, we have Ibamar and Bugle as my very special guests here uh, this afternoon inside of my World Cup fever. It's all about Russia 2018. Um, Many teams have, uh, you know, surpassed our expectations. Uh, some have not met our expectations. Some have surprised us. Uh, others have disappointed us. But, of course, uh, we maintain and we continue to support. We continue to watch. And we continue uh, to see it all unfold uh, in Russia. And I got to tell you, quite impressive uh, with the matches uh, today. Uh, Japan went up against Colombia. And Japan won two. And Colombia scored one. Then we had... And Senegal go up against Poland. Senegal clipped two, and uh, Poland managed to slip in one. And then, oh my lord, Egypt against Russia. Russia three, uh, Egypt one, uh, courtesy of Mohamed Salah. And those are the point standings and the team uh, teams for uh, this afternoon. Now, music and football, uh, Bugle, uh, you know, hand in hand, you know. Um, talk to me about how is it that, you know, the Rastafarian artists, for example, especially, uh, the love for football and music, how did that come about? Well, um, not for we have played football before even the music get involved. Mm -hmm. So it, it is a part of it. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it's not even a thing where, okay, we love the music and then we're going to play some mm -hmm. band. So it's just something we're, we're in away from day one before yeah. even music. Yeah. Because Ivor Mars said when he used to go out of the shop, he used to take 15 minutes out of the shop time and play football right. and go in. But right. And it's a thing with most away. Because enough of we as Rastafarian, we never go to the fitness center. Mm -hmm. But we even fit around enough people go to the fitness Truly. center. Truly, yes. And uh, 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 how we consume and the football. Yeah. Even keep some of us. Keep the bills. Uh, it, uh, you spoke about um, reggae boys and Jamaica earlier. Uh, which reggae boy, uh, you know, is your, well, you find impressive or you like their style of play or you like his dexterity? Uh, you know, any reggae boy you support and say, yeah, you're a ball of that. Yeah, man, Bibi. Yeah. Bibi Gardner. Yeah. yeah like one of the baddest things we have out True. You know, none the Lord them a great, great defense here. Mm -hmm. Walter Boy, I think, are one of the greatest things where we ever produce as True. footballer in a Jamaica. Yeah. Unfortunately, they never really get to express that skill up on the world stage. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I, I, but you, you know, think that their skills... You have, a, you have like Tuffy and them you then True. Know, <laughs> yeah. 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 In terms of unity, I, 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 lo I love football, and I think music and football are two very strong unifying forces. And, you know, people from all across the world, whether or not they speak your language, they will gravitate to uh, gravitate toward your music. Uh, once a month, see a ball, you know, everyone just get in. And, yeah, you know, it yeah. has that camaraderie and that togetherness uh, Bob feel. Used to be. Yeah. <laughs> the great Bob Marley. Yeah. Football. Yeah. So it's just a thing we're injecting away from. One. Yeah. It's a part of our DNA. Yeah. And that's why so much Jamaican go with Brazil too, because we feel so connected with Brazil. Yes. Right around the corner. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just a vibe. It's just we that. It's just a vibe. I Ibamar, Ibam do you play football often? I mean, are, is it a part of your uh, daily activity uh, or is it just a once a while type of vibe? I don't feel like, you know, I do it you know, as often as, you know, I would have done it before. Like, even when we start music, we play only for football. Yes. But now, you know, we travel, you know, a little bit more. Yes. You know, we spend more time in the studio, like what Bugle has said. You know, and, you know, we have to be creative, you know, and, you know, like, sometimes that take away from, yeah. you know, the, the play play time. fitness vibe. But, mm -hmm. you know, we share the same kind of vibes, like where, you know, Bugle said, you know, Brazil is a part of our vibes too, you know, yes. our style and, you know, we have enough baller like Bibi too, you know, we love to and I feel like, you know, Walter Boyd is one of the, like, the skillest footballer like me ever see, mm -hmm. you know, with my two eyes, in yes. life, yes. you know, so every day we talk about that, yes. you know, but we play football, you know, from time to time, you yeah. know, and when the little football thing, them come up with the artists and the thing, you know, you, did it. you know, we always try to go and represent, because we know, say, your football bring people together, too, yes. You know? And, you know, Jamaica got through so much now, you know, and we realize, like, ever since the football thing started, <coughs> some things kind of, you know, kind of calmed down. Mm -hmm. You know, we need some, some more things like that with the music too, you know, and, and the football and the sports, you know. Yes. 
So I just I just weed that in a sports man, music man. Yes. How do you think uh bugle, for example, music and sports, uh having more of that in our society as uh you know Ibomar is alluding to, how can that help youth? Because I hear a lot of people saying that boy, you know, a lot of the youngsters these days they don't have an outlet to go and do, you know, positive things and so the devil finds work for idle hands. How important is it for the authorities or the powers that be and the policymakers to implement you know stuff like music schools and even football camps so that young people can go there and express themselves and even learn some skills you know to make themselves better just imagine if Jamaica never have music and the sports yeah football to be exact just imagine how much are we would have up on the road and do different things where yeah. we're not supposed to do yeah so it is extremely important not only for Jamaica but for the whole world yeah here. You know, when them kind of something and things that we need to invest in them. Yeah, like like what Japan do now. Japan and nurture the little youth them from them barn and I turn them in a ball and mm -hmm. up. And that's why even Japan is so good. Mm -hmm. at and even at Iceland. Exactly. Because Iceland was having a drug problem uh, about 15 years ago. And they said, okay, no child on the road after six. And they put in certain rules and regulations. And instead of playing, they saw football clubs and football this and football that. Because and that's why they it, represent you know, it so well. The thing about it, you know, you, you, if you only identify the problem and you don't find a solution yes. for the problem, then you're not fix the problem. Truly. So you have to find a solution. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? That's what, that's what even, even the Japanese doing they yeah. find a solution yeah them them want to play the sports so bad and them not have the tactics them not have the skill them not have the player yeah so them create them player from baby stage come right up yeah what why you live how i'm learning when yes. you teach him from baby stage how i'm gonna come do in our last days yes you understand you, you whatever you, you consume is what you digest yeah, yeah. so if a football you inject in him from a baby a football you might come play and might come play on the world stage because yeah. I'm going to develop that talent and I love that for whatever you make him do from early on. Yeah. So Jamaica definitely need that and, and we need that. We're always good at yes. You understand? We have the celebrity match. So we're always good at something. Yeah. Well, let me just ask you, with regard to, for example, I, I will give you two names, Pele and Maradona. Which is the better baller? Which is the Pele, Pele for Pele. you, Ibomar? Never see Pele. <laughs> no, you're not half a C. Never see Bob Marley. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Bugle's default line, by the way. I don't have to see Bob Marley. And maybe to the, some people, Bob Marley is the greatest Bugle. I like, no, like Bugle. No. Bob Marley and Bugle got proud of. No, it's like, no, it's like, no. It's like, like, like God, no. Alone. Bob Marley and Bugle got proud You don't see where I'm keeping here. I can't call that on here. I can't refer to it. Really, Bugle? Really? I, just think, I think Pele. I don't, Why you say Pele? I don't, think, I don't even think. Think is a good comparison. Why? Me. Because Maradona just not in a Pele shoes. True. Why you say that? Because Pele just one hundred thousand times above Maradona. No. Okay, but no. But okay. In terms of points, Pele scored forty-seven. Maradona scored forty-five. So and and the in the world now. stage, in whole in the world ranking, Pele number one, uh, Messi number two, and Maradona in terms of you know the greatest footballers. So the two points are separating. What makes Pele a better baller than Maradona? You know, for, what, what, what we don't understand sometimes as a people, um, so the game of football that we're talking about. It comes down to favoritism. It, 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 most of the time it comes down to favoritism. But you can't have one of the greatest players on the field who not scoring on him. True. Come win. Mm -hmm. So it do even boil down to goal difference who mm -hmm. scored the most some of the time, who assist the goal, yes. who make it happen. Who set it. Who, who set it. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and the truth and the fact is, as I say, I never see Pele play like yeah. it. You understand so what do you think he's the but best? I watch him think them and yeah. realize how skillful this man is. Or yeah. how him lead Brazil yeah. across the world in a theme time. And yes. like, he was untouchable. Yes. And him do it fair and square. Yes. You understand him never use him and <laughs> put no goal in that bag. <laughs> But no, I said that they were talking about it. But no, they never say it. They never repay them. Leave Maradona alone. Yeah, but I can't put him down. It's just that when you compare him, I go, that I'll give Pele the edge. Yeah, I go. I'm a who are you giving the edge this afternoon? Just like what I'm saying, it comes down to favoritism. Yeah. Who's your favorite? And who do you think is the greatest? You know, it's hard for me if you like just say it. Like, sometimes I say it, sometimes I feel like I change my mind. Mm -hmm. Like, even now, like I watch Ronaldo. Yeah. And I watch Messi. Like, Messi is so great, but then when you start comparing with Ronaldo, it's like, yeah. he don't even look that great again. Mm. 
you know, it's, it, it's... So when you compare Pele and Maradona, who is looking greater? I like, I like Maradona's style. Yeah. Style of play. And I like Messi's style of play. But for where Ronaldo achieve and how him do it, like, him... Him did pretty. Him, him great. <laughs> him yeah. did with the style yeah. in general, I'm here. And him too is I observe <laughs> when, when, when he play a game, especially yeah. when him know the kind of team he have. Yes. You know, it's kind of different from how Messi play a game. And this is my opinion. Yes. You know, Messi play a game with that, like, him don't lead, you know, as a man who knows, say, yo, him is the star. Yes. Because it's obvious, you know, say, you're the star. Yes. You know, so I don't feel like him lead the team. You know, him, 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 him just a player and him just a, you know, him just a show film talent individually, yes, but, you know, we need it for lead. And I got Mr. Ronaldo the whole time. Yeah. You know, Ronaldo, like, take a team and say, yo, all right, listen, you know, he's a star, you know, my name Ronaldo, you know, so here we go. Then I get the ball and give me it, you know. Mm-hmm. And then when they give me it, I got drop a gram, you know. And I penalty that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, so right now, the other craft. It's it, it important. Yeah. Because football is not just your legs. You True. Know? It's about your yeah. mind as well, uh, uh, about your skill. Well, yeah. let me change gears for a little bit. And, of course, uh, Bugle, uh, you know, music is a big part of your life. Uh, and you're spreading your wings. And you have definitely grown uh, over the years uh, since you started. And you're now, uh, you know, touching the lives of many people uh, with your charity as well. Yeah. I, I must, uh, we spoke about it on my show, but now that you are here, uh, let me personally and publicly again uh, congratulate you mm-hmm. on, you know, on the, uh, you know, handing out uh, the feeding of the thousands and, of course, giving back to people uh, in your own country. Uh, many persons would have, you know, had their uh, lives and, you know, them touring and they don't remember to look out for the less fortunate. And when I saw that and you did it on your birthday, uh, I mean, you could have gone and paid your money to go to any hotel or anywhere in the world. Uh, can you work hard? And, you know, and when I saw that, I thought it was very benevolent. I, it really touched my heart. And we, I, as I said, we spoke about it. Uh, he here on Miss Kitty Live, and I wanted to commend you. I wanted to salute you uh, for that initiative, and it has continued. So, talk to us about that, and what was the inspiration behind that move? Feel like I just get an award. <laughs> <laughs> no, you deserve it. I, I really, I liked it. I really loved it. I really loved it. Um, it started out as a personal thing, where you know, late last year, my decide say, you know, man, I want to go in 2018. I do the same thing. It's not just about getting a hit song anymore. Yeah. It's not just about buying another car anymore. Yeah. You understand me? I say, I want to do something different. I want to change the life of people. You understand what I got to do? But these are things I'm going to pray for. For years, my prayer and all the jazz for me, I do them something. Yeah. So it come natural. It just happened because, okay, I've been a prayer for this. See it, yeah. Let me see how you're going to manage it. Yeah. That's a Jadine thing. Yes. So New Year's Day, now I decide to go feed some people instead of, you know, the regular. Sit down and hold a vibe with your bridging them and welcome you in the new year. More I'm gonna feed some people. Yeah. Yeah. So um at the time two my bridging them far from New York, I'm really close with which was Sam Gatti and Franchise. Yeah. Far than there, Jamaica and Gatti say, um, look like you and franchise, I think the same way, you know, cause franchise actually wanna feed some people. So I said, which part of franchise far from? He said Spanish town. So I said, All right. Tell him to link up and make could see how we can balance it then and do the thing together. And franchise yeah. come and me and him have a meeting and me and him go in our pocket and we we'll buy some things and, yeah. and cook the next morning, like about six o'clock, peas I go up on fire. Because I had three shows the night before, which wow. is Ivor Mar shows, one yes. of the shows on the 31st of December. Right. So, you know, New Year's morning, now I followed him. Like, I come in like from about, about seven o'clock, I reach in. And as I reach in, we go around at the back of the yard and light up the coal pot them and start cook some peas. And of course, when they tell the world I'm a grudging them, most of my friends them say, yo, well, this man go do, you know. And to tell you the truth, the skitty boy says, 9.30, mm-hmm. I look outside and I see at least 25 cars. Wow. With everybody just ready and to willing pitching, to do this. Yeah. You understand me? I say, I'm going to stay and cook and go out the road and feed people. And it was one of the greatest things I ever do. Yeah. One of the greatest things I ever do. Wow. That day there, New Year's Day. Of course... Some people think so we just do this because on New Year's Day and we see people do it on Christmas Day to an holiday, so what the difference? Mm-hmm. But me have a different mindset. Yeah. Anything when me start, I go continue with yeah. it until I can't go no more. Yes. Yes, I decided so January 30th was my birthday. Yeah. So I go do this for my birthday because yeah. we always receive yes. on, on our birthdays. So I decided so that birthday, yeah, 
I'm going to do it different. So I'm going to link the whole of my bridge in them again. The whole of my selector bridge in them. A couple of my artists friend them. The whole anointed team and tell them, say, Ewa, nobody no bring no liquor come on my yard. Nobody no bring nothing for smoke come on my yard. And none of them kind of something. They want a man bring a pepper, a onion, a peg of garlic, a tomato, whatever it is where we can cook. A pound of flour, a tin of mackerel, whatever it is. I could cook and go feed the people then. Yeah. Instead of we there, so on a party and yeah. I have big drink and really. Yeah. And I do it for my birthday and I skip to go down a town, down a King Street. And yeah. A friend them be my witness shadow was one of the main players in that whole thing at one. I cry, I water, tears run down from my face. When I say, say um, if me go down a town with 200 food, there was 100. If me go down a town with 200 food, there was 207 people. Yeah. So what happened right there, sir? Seven people not get, get no food. food yeah. I cry. When yeah. I say the seven people, I look for me like, yeah. The 200 people where eat, where eat for them food, no business about nobody, you know, yeah. they just want to so them get a meal, yeah. which I understand that yeah. situation. Yeah. So, I stay son, I couldn't mm. hold it. Yeah. The tears run out of my eye and go in my pocket and I send somebody down to KFC and then buy two buckets of chicken and I go around and I feed back everybody yeah. who never get no food. Yeah. And then the, the, the chicken never leave, but now I give like the people in the wheelchair, the blind people, yeah. and some extra pieces yeah. so a little bit them can have something yeah. to eat. And we keep on doing it. We document this thing because I didn't want to document it at first. Mm. Shadow is the one who said, yes. you now go make you do this, I mean, I document yeah. it. Yeah, agree. I said, okay. And it's the best thing ever happened yeah. because now we have 